The journey began with a simple request. In 1847, Pope Pius IX asked the Archbishop of Milan, Archbishop Romili, to begin forming a missionary seminary in the Lombard region of Italy. His plea fell on fertile ground. Father Angelo Ramazzotti felt a strong love for the missions from the time of his boyhood. And so on July 30, 1850, he began the Lombard Seminary for the Foreign Missions in Serono. Pime, from its inception, was devoted to serving the most distant and abandoned peoples. The first seven missionaries chose to begin on two small islands, Rook and Woodlark near Papua New Guinea. It was a primitive and hostile land where everything was a challenge. The previous Marist missionaries had abandoned a mission because the land and natives were found to be too difficult. The new missionaries were treated with apathy and hostility. Soon they were malnourished and sick with malaria. By the end of three years, two of them were dead. One of them, John Matsukone, dying a martyr's death. Eventually, the new missionaries also left the mission. The tragedy of that first mission, however difficult to bear, was not enough to dissuade the missionaries of Pime. The call to go to the farthest frontiers, to the missions no one else dared to attempt, has remained constant. In 1926, Pope Pius XI united the Lombard Seminary for the Foreign Missions with the Pontifical Seminary of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul for the Foreign Missions to form the current PIME, the Pontifical Institute for Foreign Missions. The purpose was specific and twofold. The missionaries were to proclaim the gospel to non-Christians and assist in the foundation of new churches, whatever the cost.